and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest 3 VGA by In Famous Adventures. This is again a remake of Sierra Online's King's Quest 3. Um, now all that's pretty much left to do before we find our way back to Daventry is we have one less, one last spell to cast. Um, I'm not going to make you guys watch it, it's the normal spell stuff. Um, you guys saw it with the, the fly potion. So I'm going to pause and I will be right back. Okay, I lied. Um, I just want to show you that now it does not matter if we, we keep the wand. Uh, yeah, he says the same thing, but pretty much it does not matter now if we leave all of this open after we, we am cast in there, after we go. Um, we still get the perilous music and everything, but at this point, yeah, we can leave everything open, everything's in impunity because the wizard is, the wizard is gone. So now we have everything we need to cast this last spell. Yeah, he just rubbed that stone and mistletoe and everything else, and he kisses it. Yeah. With this kiss, I be in part, power most dear to my heart. Take me now from this place hither, to another place far thither. Yeah, those are made up words. Well, uh, I'll show you a demonstration of the teleporting stone. Um, this is actually another way we can get to Daventry. It gives you a lot less points. And it, it's sort of random. Yeah, while you're in the house, it's only going to transport you around the house. Um, I'm not sure why the spell would have that sort of limitation, but, you know, it does. Let's go outside and give it a try. You rub the magic stone. And it transports us back into the house. Um, the game is being cool. I'll be right back. Okay, apparently the, the rope on top of the mountain, there's some sort of apparently magical field that keeps you from being able to transport too much. So now that we are down here, it should let us transport. Uh, we're in the desert now. The sound is really annoying. Um, it is the same sound from King's Quest VI. We just keep rubbing it. Uh, yeah, that that sound is really annoying. Um, I'm going to pause and click it a few dozen more times and see if I can get us to Daventry. Be right back. Okay, after doing a bit of um, investigating, it doesn't seem that. In this version of the game, you can use the stone to do that. Um, oh, look, there's a ship there. Um, so we're going to have to, or I plan to do it this way anyways. We can see, oh, there's new people in here. Yes, they only they wanted their ale. You look at them. Some sailors have obviously been drinking heavily for some time. They are very loud and rowdy. Um... Yeah, this this is exactly who it, it looks like. See the hair? It's, it's this talk to him. The sailor mumbles something obscene. Well, let's see if we can uh, change their minds. Aye, lad. I see you do have a wee bit of gold. Seems less than the regular fare. But I'll give you a passage anyways. We'll be waiting for you at the wharf, but not for long. The captain and his men down their rum in one long drought then leave the tavern. Yeah, as you can imagine, this is not going to go well. Yeah, the rest of them still sit there, they're drinking and we can't really talk to uh, our friend, Captain Sparrow. 
Now, a word of warning, if you get on the ship without your sleeping, your sleeping potion, you are finished. You cannot beat the game. Um, same with if you do not have the storm stuff or the invisibility, you can get, I believe, a slightly less happy ending, but you really want to have completed every sing almost every single spell in the spell book. And not just because it gives you points, but because it's almost necessary for the end game. You'd better be getting aboard, boy, or we'll sail without you. And he went Irish. As the gangplank is drawn up, the captain shouts to his men, Take his things and put him in the hold till I figure out what to do with him. You have a sneaking suspicion that you have made a big mistake. These are pirates. Yeah, Alexander is not clever. He's supposed to be a naive, you know, slave boy, but still. Nothing like a little salt air to perk up a boy's spirit. All things being equal, you might have enjoyed this ocean voyage. However, you have found your accommodations to be slightly less than satisfactory. You were a slave, Alexander. Don't be getting all high and mighty on us. And here we are. We are in the hold. I'm gonna knife that. We can't stow away in that. Yeah. Um, there's a ladder. But we're not gonna bother with that right now. We're gonna come over here. And there are rats. You see a small crate here. We have the small crate. Do you know where the pirates are taking us, Squeak? I heard them talking about buried treasure. I think it's buried on the beach. They're gonna dig it up. Squeak? Oh, do you remember when they first buried the treasure? It was on a small beach, and behind the beach was a high mountain range. Squeak? Near a palm tree, I believe they said. Squeak? Yeah, that, that that's kind of important. Um. Well, it's optional, but, you know, it's... Yeah, because Alexander can't climb on this box without a bit of help, yeah. Well, uh, let's, let's see if I can make our friend show up. Come on, where are you? Um, I'll be right back. And here we are. Whoa, who are you? If you've played the Monkey Island games, you know exactly who this is. Threefwood. Guybrush Threefwood. Nice to meet you, uh, Toothbrush. Guybrush. Uh, yeah, what are you doing down here? I'm plotting a trajectory for our course. The way I figure it, we've got at least 35 nautical knots to go before we hit the big plunge. You're navigating? If I don't, who else will? The rest of my crew? Ha! As good lads as they are, they're dumber than a, she a sheep looking to, to live celibate in New Zealand. Yeah, I mean, woo, totally. It's hard being a captain. Every day, the salt, the brine will drive you mad if you're not a man. You're the captain? Why are you down here? And how come you don't have one of those big talking pictures? What? The huge thing in the corner. Yes, we are breaking the fourth wall. Oh, that. Well, you don't need it. Need, yeah. Well, when you're as pretty as me, you don't need to flaunt it. Oh. Anyways, I came here to think. My pity-evoking former slave boy. Wait, 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 wait. How did you know that? A good captain knows everything that everyone else talks about on a ship. Wow. It's like the time I took up LeChuck. I overheard the secret, and then he was mine. So, what do you do down here? Uh, well, in addition to navigating, I meditate. Meditate? My devotion to the ancient art of Tao at the sea allows me to concentrate with which to command my domain over the sea. Really? Yes, though my power, through my power, I make them put me here, so I'm forced to face myself and find peace. 
Well, I have to find a way out. I wish you the best of luck, friend. I, however, will sit here until Elaine shows up. Er, I mean until I find oneness with complete being. Take care. Have fun storming the castle, Nancy boy. What? Nothing. Bye now. And yeah, his Guybrush Seafood will not let us talk to him again. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I don't want to talk to him. What do you think the bo they'll do with the boy they shanghaied? They'll probably make him a cabin boy. What happened to the last cabin boy they had? Didn't you hear? They fed him to the sharks just for sport. Yeah, I think they need to be out of here. But we are over 10 minutes, so I'm going to sign off. This has been Kijiku.